Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. That's if you've been subscribed for a while. If you've not been, welcome. And this is Life Like Bunny. So welcome to the channel and please consider subscribing. What I was saying today, I've got another video for you guys. Recently, like anyone who's been on social media, discovered that, you know, the relaxer girls, if you're a black girl, you know what I'm talking about. Like, basically, let me just give you a little bit of a rundown what relaxer is if you happen not to be a black girl and you're white or from a different type of origin. Basically, relaxer is this like creamy crack. That's what people call it, creamy crack. But anyway, it's like this, um, oh, it's like a chemical, it's a bunch of chemicals mixed together and they produce this look like white paste. And when you put it in your hair, it's supposed to straighten it and make it more white looking, more Eurocentric looking, more longer. Basically, it like deadens your curls. It makes the curls from being like coiled like that to straightening them by killing them. Basically, that's literally what happens. On those boxes, they always had the prettiest little girls on them showing off their bouncy long hair. They're like, oh, look at my hair. You want your hair to be like mine? Really like perfectly done according to like black standards and like African standards. And every single girl, I know we always wanted to be those boxer girls. This video is a little bit of a gotcha moment for me because I, Loki, always knew that those a cost. I lucky knew that it was not real because every single time I saw people around me relax their hair, it always came out dead looking. Like it flat. It was never bouncy. Like even if it was like trying to be made to look bouncy, I just saw through it. So when this came out, I was just like, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it that that was like natural hair, just straightened and pressed because growing up, I never really like stretched my hair that much really. So I would go like months literally even growing up like not growing up like when i was a teen when i had started to relax my hair i would go months without reapplying the relaxer but what i did is i used the curling iron and whenever i used the curling iron the bits were already like straight anyway so it gave you the look of the boxer girls basically because it was still full because the the roots were never relaxed you know what i mean so it still gave it the full look that's the thing it is going to only look full because the chemical has not killed their hair yet. Nobody is coming like that. And if you wanted to have the look of the box and all, you'd have to wash up the relaxer literally like two days after, which I actually did. I would always hate how my hair looked the few times I relaxed it, that I would go like two days after and just wash it out because I didn't like that it was stuck in, sticking to my scalp. And when I washed it, it like frizzed up again and it would literally like feel more voluminous and nice and shit. And then I would use the um, curling iron sometimes to like be a problem because that is literally so fucking problematic. I know why people do it. I'm not judging nobody, but I prefer literally what I have right now, the free from locks. I can never go back. Juice. So, more of the story is do not trust ad marketing when it comes to things like your skin, when it comes to things like your hair. Like, it's what I've been telling you guys. If you watched some of my videos and have been scrubbed for a while, I don't even use creams on my body anymore. I used to. I used to buy scrubbing lotions and it's got like, like apricot seeds or shit and I would just scrub myself in the shower and I loved it. But my body gets got dependent on it that I'm dry without it. That's what she says. I've learned to not use that stuff. I just use Vaseline because every now and again you need protection. And Vaseline is literally just a sealant. Just seals in whatever moisture your body has naturally produced. That's why even with the fucking relaxers, they never ever ever relaxed your hair without using Vaseline. They would always like do with your perimeter, even the scarf Vaseline is, because they know Vaseline is literally a protector and that shit is bad for you. And guys, recently it's been discovered that women who do not use it, compared to women who use it, women who use it are like three percent something i'm not going to say the real percentages because i don't recall them right now but they are like two percent or more more likely to have cancer than women who do not use it realize it's so bad if you want to get away from the obsession of straight hair if, because you think it's easier to just have your hair straight I don't think that's true because I have had my hair straight, I've had braids, I've had pretty much every fucking hairstyle under the moon and I fucking prefer my hair. Go to my Instagram, you'll see my hair journey. Also, one thing I haven't said, stream my music. Sticky Bunny Wear, Sticky Bunny Weird, 
sticky bunny weird on all platforms i would really fucking appreciate that i do music if you haven't noticed like stream it stream it stream it like the video as well so it's like i don't know if i'm supposed to be upset because they lied with false marketing and i'm like also you girls why didn't you come on longer sooner also it's not your fault because you are little children being forced to model but also these people knew to not risk their children's hair they just somehow knew you know risk their children's hair and risk random millions and millions of black and african children isn't that villainous because they knew it wouldn't look good on camera because they knew they wouldn't use the girl again to model if they relaxed her hair because then you can only want once if you relax it once you're not gonna want her for the commercial again because it's not gonna be bouncy the next month literally they lied to us i am all for free from locks i think i'm not even kidding i don't even i'm not for manicure with locks because also like quite a lot of a lot of discipline which with hair and like skin things in order to win you need things that don't require just you need just existing for it to be consistent and maybe i'm privileged because i don't know my skin i don't know i have struggled with my skin watching my videos i'm not even saying that i actually did struggle and, and i tried doing sugar scrubs i tried doing egg scrubs i tried doing all this shit and it never helped the only thing that helped was sudden doing nothing that's the only thing i could be consistent with so with my hair just try it there's like so many people in this world somebody's going to love you by just existing please please you deserve to give yourself a chance of reality just do it this shit is fake try to be who you are exactly i know it's exhausting to literally have fussy hair because i've been there but it's not at the same time because i have been there too i'm a, i'm a, i'm i have been at both ends where it's not difficult and it's also difficult. the only thing that changed was i gave up on trying relaxer and being natural is the same exact fucking effort but the only way I didn't put in effort was and this is what my hair is supposed to do that's why it tangles yeah guys oh by the way I have a, co a term I've coined for this whole basically mood or the do nothing method it's called the cave woman method watch my videos guys go to my fucking channel just click on it and search cave woman method why I live like a cave woman basically it's this if you hear the tap in the background it's literally my husband making tea I'm so sorry so guys I don't know what else I'm going to say this I just wanted to basically break this news to you and let's talk about it I want to foster a culture on this channel where it's encouraging being yourself whatever that looks like that doesn't mean like i am saying fuck relax our girls no or fuck girls relax their hands because i much well understand why they do it. it makes life much much easier the way society is fucking put i get it but also you just have to suddenly stop and that's the only way of stopping you will take your money on top of taking your hair taking your happiness taking your literal literal strength because you have to literally like trying to detangle while you're paid for the <laughs> for detangling anyway it's a whole loop thing guys i am going to leave off the video here please subscribe if you've not listen to my music it's sticky bunny weird everywhere you're going to love it if you like me you would like my music if you like my channel and what i do here you'd like my music so please check it out also like this video if you have not it helps me in the algorithm it helps it get pushed out comment down your thoughts what did you think about the relaxer belts do you know it was a lie all along or did you just not know most people on twitter are and TikTok did not know. Just let me know. Also, did you grow up relaxing your hair? And if you didn't grow up relaxing your hair, how did that come about? Because I know most people were forced to do it. I wasn't. I have a whole story about that. If you want to know, comment down below. I'll write it down. All the good shit, Instagram, everything, down below. Go check it out, guys. J'adore Dio. No, I don't know. J'adore Dio. I, I, I. Sagala. Fucked up again, they were fake. Eat pussy, suck dick. But also, but Dior, yeah, if you happen to want to give me money, I should talk.